<laughs> I was just gonna say, babe, rip it cute, okay? And then. Gonna rip it cute. <laughs> the destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> this is a extra e extra hot twice the hot and why wow, six bucks inflation inflation i remember when hot cheeto was a dollar you should have took it like this one more one more, one more. I'm gonna take eight. Okay. Are we sure? Yes. Hello! Hello, Hello my honey bees. bees. It's your girl, honey. It's your boy, Terry. And today we're gonna be eating sugar fish and, and Kazunori. So let's, let's dig in because we're so hungry. hungry. Okay, so like you said earlier, they're basically the same company, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're also eating nuclear fire noodles. Before we start, let's put our drinks in our cups. I am so hungry. Our favorite, the Kirkland, Kirkland sparkling water. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> mm. Let's start with the edamame. <laughs> oh, cheers. I like the spicy garlic edamame. Oh. That one's good. Mmm. Oh, there's tuna sashimi in here. You didn't Perfect. know? Tuna and salmon. Mmm. It's okay. A little salty. What should we start with? Oh, what's sushi? Mmm. I ordered extra wasabi and um, ginger for 25 cents each. Each? This is what they give you. So little! Dang, they charge for everything these days. You need to buy wasabi at the market. What do you want to start with? The salmon. Salmon? Salmon! Usually you're supposed to start with the light color sushi. You want to start with salmon. Okay. Uh... <laughs> it's because they say the lighter color fish have like less um, fishy taste. Mm -hmm. So you want to go from light to dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what should you we start, start with? You could start with salmon. I'll start with this. What is that one, though? I think this was like sea bass or something. <laughs> <to> see oh. <laughs> I think it's sea bass. Are you going to start with the hand roll or sushi? Can I have one? Yeah. It's one of each. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, sugar fish is more known for their sushi and kazunori is known for their hand rolls, right? Yeah, but it looks the same today. Mm. I'm going to start with the darker color. Cheers. This is really good with hot Cheetos, right? Yes. It's a hack. That oh, your wasabi fell. <laughs> it's a hack me and Henny found out. Hand so rolls what? and hot Cheetos. Oh, it's so good. Just like how we saw, you sent me like a Instagram video today. Tomato juice and beer? Mm. What? I don't know, right? We have to try it. Why am I shaking? Mm. The sugar fish sushi is very fatty today. Mm. Huh? Mm. I think hot cheetos is better with the hand rolls though. I just tried it with the sushi. But I think it's better with the hand rolls. I think you need some seaweed in that texture. Yeah. This is yellowtail. Yum. What was the first one you had? I mean, sea bass. Sea bass? Oh God. Babe, I, these chopsticks are weird. Mm. They're like fat. Sea bass. 
Yummy. Mmm. Okay, so today, I want to play a game. Mmm. Game? It's called Bad Choices. Oh man, this isn't going well. I've seen a lot of people do these games while they eat. Can you tell me a little bit about what the game is about? I don't know, I just bought it. Oh. It's just like basically what you would do in certain situations. Would you spend the night in a full porta potty for ten thousand dollars? No. That's no. gross. That is disgusting. Only ten thousand? Mm-hmm. No. I think this is tuna hand roll. Oh wait, I should finish the sushi first, huh? Mm. So we can enjoy it. I don't know which rolls. one this one is. Not sure. Just gonna enjoy my sushi. Mmm. Did I have that? Mm mm. I had that. Do I pick a card? Mm-hmm. Would you be willing to look ten years older in in order to retire ten years earlier? It's too easy for you. No. I wouldn't. I don't think I ever want to actually retire. No. You have a very business mind. I would keep wanting to do something out of what I'm enjoying doing. Mm. Oh no. What about you? No. I don't want to retire. I don't think you could ever retire. Terry likes doing so many different things at once. Mm. And he gets tired of stuff easily, right? Yeah, I get bored pretty quickly. <clears throat> Especially like games. I don't think just games, just anything in general. Yeah. So then he likes to do side hustles. <laughs> Yeah, more than, I guess more than an average person. Yeah, I think that's a good thing though. Yeah. Mmm. Sushi's so good with fried noodles. Mm. Nuclear fried noodles. Have you ever had more than eight shots in one night? Yes. Easily. Easily eight more than eight shots. I think I have more than eight shots this week. <laughs> well, I guess eight shots because like usually people drink tequila and hard liquor. Mm. Eight shots is a lot. I think that's like my max though. Yeah. Eight shots. You're pretty gone after like four. Yeah. Like, not gone gone, but... Would you drink a glass full of someone else's PP for 5,000? No. What if it's mine? <laughs> no. For you? For 5,000? Your PP? Yeah. Probably just water. You drink so much water. <laughs> so you would. Only if you didn't drink and then eat Hovania. Mm. Like, this is much better with the hand roll. These are my favorite hand rolls. Yeah, Cousinori. I do really like Kazunori hand rolls. Do you think it, do you th oh, can you tell me if it's different from that and that? Oh, so eat one from yours? Uh-huh. Probably so, the same. Kazunori. They look exactly the same. Tastes a little different. Really? I think. You try. I don't know. I tried the tuna. It tastes different. Right? Mm. Just a little bit. Mm. Maybe it's just the freshness. I'm not sure. 
the rice texture, the amount of rice, the freshness of the fish, it's all different. Have you ever lied to leave in the middle of a first date? I've never. I think that's so mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I Like, even if it. I didn't like someone on the first date, I would just try to, like, get to know them, like, as a person. Or, like, you know, you could stay friends with them. Yeah, I mean, if two person decide to meet, you know, that's... You guys are both using your own time, so I guess the least you can do is at least meet them. I think also I wouldn't go on a first date if I didn't relate to them or like I didn't have any feelings for them at all. Maybe it's different these days though. Never really did dating apps. Yeah. But I've never lied to get out of a date. <clears throat> and he's just not good at lying. She mm -hmm. she doesn't she really doesn't like lying mm -hmm. about anything. Yeah. I think the rice is better. Yeah, Kazunori, right? Yeah. These hot Cheetos are pretty spicy for me. My tongue is numb already. Mm -hmm. You haven't had Cheetos in a while. I can I can definitely eat regular Cheetos. Mm. Your turn. I need some juicy ones. Juicy. Have you ever looked through someone's wallet while they were out of the room? Mm, no. What about their phone? Yeah. But not wallet. Yeah, why would you go through a wallet? Like to see how much money they have? <laughs> You've never? No. I don't know, some people are like really curious. So they look through everything. Like when, when sometimes like I had a friend who I invited to my house. And she would like touch every little thing I had. It was kind of bad because some of the things were like fragile. So it's like, <clears throat> you know, for me, it's like, don't touch if it's not yours. But I had a friend who would always be like, what is this? What is this? And they'll touch it. Yeah. Have you ever secretly thought that you would make a really good gangster? All the time. <laughs> I did when I was younger. I was like, what's side? I would always be like that. What's good? I <laughs> Did you really though? I think more than a gangster, I thought I would have been a good rapper. Mm, me too. Slim Shady. Mm -hmm. I used to love 50 Cent, Eminem. All the rap music. And the OG. Mm -hmm. Is it your turn or mm. These are pretty good questions. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we should actually. Have you ever made out with someone after vomiting earlier in the in the same night? I don't think so. Maybe when I was drunk. M me? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember. Have you? No. I usually... Actually, maybe. I don't know. What do you mean? With you, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I'm I'm very uh, sensitive to smell. Very, mm -hmm. uh, very big nose. Mm -hmm. That's yours too. Have you ever slept with someone just because you wanted to be a good wingman or wingwoman? What? I know what the question is saying, but I never have. I've never that's, done a one night. That's so bad. It's like... <clears throat> just for someone else? Like Basically, I guess like you go out two people together, and then you find two other people, and then she really likes him or he really likes her and then you know they all want to go to the house together i don't know but why would you have to sleep with someone to do that because maybe the other person likes you 
but you don't, but you can't leave the house. I would just stay there, but not have sleep with someone. Interesting. Interesting question. Who made this question? Mm -hmm. mm, I like this one. This hand roll. <laughs> Would you accept $50,000 but porn audio softly plays from your pocket at all times for a whole year? 50000 Yeah, but every time you take out your wallet, mm -hmm. like, oh, 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 you get to put it back. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, can you put it on vibrate mode? Silent mode? You can't. That's why it says audio softly plays. It's not like a mode, it just plays. Yeah? For 50,000? Why not? I was like, oh, whoops. What if you are like DMV and you're thinking on your wallet? You're like, oh, oh. I usually don't use my wallet. Your phone? Yeah, I just use Apple Pay for everything, so I guess, yeah. But Apple Pay is your phone. Yeah. But it says it's coming out from my wallet. Oh, wallet? Yeah. I thought you said phone. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I got confused too. It says wallet. Oh, definitely. Oh. That's easy. Just leave your wallet. Mm hmm. I like how, like, we're going around the questions instead of actually facing the problem the question has. So a lot of them is about sex. I don't want to answer that. Would you sleep six feet under in an empty grave for a night for $2,000? Hell no! That's scary. Holy crap! I wouldn't even do it for like 200000 I don't think I can do it. Can you even breathe in there? I guess like, they, it's like the circumstances you can, but it's like, that's so scary. I can't even watch scary movies. I have to sleep next to the grave. In the grave. In the grave with In dead an people. Empty grave. Oh my god. I can never. Can you? For 2000? For just a night? Yeah. Yeah. I would. Because I'm in there by myself. I can't. Mm -hmm. Would you rather send your nude pictures to a stranger or your ex? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you're an influencer, so... But then that works for both ways. If you didn't end well with your yeah, ex, that's what he will I, use it against you, right? Yeah. So I don't know. But the stranger probably will use it against you. Like, most likely. Mm. I guess ex. Who about you? I think it's stranger. Really? Nobody wants to share me naked. I, I'm not a celebrity or an influencer. Mm. They'll be like, ooh, what is this? Who is this guy? Who is this guy, man? Mm. Man, these are all like sexual questions. This is a G rated channel. Have you ever gone out with the intention of having a one night stand? Never. No. Not Me usually, neither. never. I guess some people do. I think a lot of people do. I think that's the whole point of Tinder, right? And these, oh, some of these dating true. apps. But for me to share my time, like romantic time and date, I need to know the person a little bit. I can't just do blindly. Not just blind, it's one night. Intention yeah, of even, even worse. No. I know a lot of people that do though. 
I don't know anyone. Maybe more guys too. Definitely more guys. <clears throat> Oh, this is a honeybee question. Mm -hmm. Would you eat a handful of live bees for fifty thousand dollars? Eat bees, yeah, eat. How can you eat them? No. Fifty thousand dollars. You're gonna die. You're gonna get stung by the. Probably, but. No. I I. So actually, I got stung by a bee the last time, right? Mm -hmm. It came into my sandwich, I bit it, and I got stung on my tongue, and it was the most painful thing I've ever felt. I thought I was dying. So it flew in there? Yeah. Like, my brain was numb. It was like, ee. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was so bad. I, I almost went to the ER. Have you ever fantasized about one of your teachers? No. no, hell no. So weird. All my, I've never had a young teacher. <laughs> mm. They all have like grandkids. I had crushes on teachers before when that's, I was little. That's fantasizing. No. You just had crushes. I thought they're the good looking. Mm. Hi, Ma. Have you ever said I love you and not heard it back? Mm hmm. I have. From who? One of my exes. Mm. But he was like, I don't say I love you until I really mean it. That's so like, he was like, I like you too. That's like our friend that we know. Who? Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, I like you too. And I was like, what? I said I love you. He's like, no. I, he's like, yeah, I like you a lot. How did you feel? That was the first time I ever heard that before. So I was like, what? Did you feel like <clears throat> he didn't like you the same amount as you liked him? Just I kind of understood, but at the same time, I think it kind of got me thinking like, hmm, like, is this relationship worth it? Have you ever ghosted someone? Could it be a male? Just anyone. I ghost people all the time. Ghost Pepper. Just like... <sighs> You know, people like that, I don't just, I just don't have a good time with. And they ask me um, to hang out or even people that like are bad influence or um, a lot of people that ask me for only their own benefit, mm -hmm. you know? Like, hey, do you know this guy and this guy? Can you hook me up with this guy? It's like, I, I ghost them. Here and there. What about you? Mm, yeah, I've ghosted people who've done me wrong. Like, after a few times of telling them how I felt. Mm -hmm. And if they keep crossing the line, then yeah, I have. <clears throat> have you ever lied about your weight on your driver's license? <laughs> not a lie it's just under exaggeration <laughs> it's like okay, I don't lie too much it's like between two or three pounds depending on the day like okay if I if I if I only pooed before I went to go take my driver license picture I would have weighed this much you know hmm. I did I, I put it down as 115 Dang. because my weight fluctuates right okay and That's I'm just I'm like hey you know in a few Years or a few months, I'm gonna get to this weight again. I have been that weight. I put it as 115 right now. I bet you even the people that work at DMV lie about their weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm curious if honeybees lie about their weight. It's the last one. Have you ever run into a former lover or someone you liked and not remembered their name? No, I remember. How do you not remember your former lover's name? You don't um, remember? No, I remember. Yeah. Last bite! Last bite! Fashion more. 
Definitely try sushi with hot Cheetos, hand rolls. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So what? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honey bee. And like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye.